As an audiologist, data logging has been one of the most exciting things that I've seen come out for a long time. It's a feature uh, that the audiologist can use to see how the patient is using their device on a daily basis. The information that it gives us is just so valuable. A lot of times I feel like I'm in the dark when I have patients come in post-activation and for follow-up mappings. You can see the number of hours per day that the device is being used. Uh, you can see uh, how many times the the device is on, but the coil may be coming off. Are they in speech and noise? Are they getting enough speech input? Is there too much background noise that they're in? How many coil offs have they had? Having that extra information is it's helpful. Um, it's part of what you put in your pocket as you know, as a clinician in your in your toolkit uh, that you have as much information as possible. And data logging does give you more than we've had before. Many um, adult patients come in and they're just not certain when I ask them, um, well, which programs are you using and you know, what volume and sensitivity do you typically um, have the processor set to? And, and they, they, they're not sure, they're not keeping track of it, and they don't have to with the data logging. I can pull that right up and say, oh, it looks like we have sort of a trend here. And for a parent of a child, I think it's such a reassuring thing for us to have. Um, there's times that they can't be with their child when the child is at school, um, especially kids who are in daycare settings or they have multiple caregivers. And it's so helpful to be able to look at that, that data logging and be able to know for sure exactly how many hours they're wearing it and what environments they're in. This child, uh, when he came in, I looked at the data logging and I noticed that one side had significantly more coil offs during the day than the other. It helped us with troubleshooting, so we went through and you know checked for retention and a few other things. And uh, I actually ended up lengthening the cable, putting a longer cable on, and I was able to see when he came back two weeks later that that was the thing that fixed the problem. And I feel that these children, as a result, they they perform better um, because of the data logging. You know, I, I love my job. I love getting to um, see the difference that cochlear implants make in the lives of children and in families. And having worked with the other manufacturers, I can say that cochlear's commitment to the patient for a lifetime is very unique. It's another great example of the cochlear implant industry continuing to move forward um, in, with some technology that is directly affecting patient outcomes.